Welcome back to your boy Destination Trucker. Today, folks, we are going to pick up a car that I just bought from Copar. As you can see, I got the trailer here. Um, it is Thursday. The auction was earlier today, and I'm going to pick it up. I got it. I'll tell you all about it, but let's go get it first. All right, folks, so we made it back to the house, and this is the car. As you can see, we got a 2005 Honda C Civic. Uh, it's got 182,000 kilometers on it. Um, it's got some... Some minor, minor hail damage on the hood. You can, it's, I don't know if you can see it in the camera where it's dirty and stuff. The sun's starting to go down. Um, you know, the tires on it are, for summer tires, they're phenomenal. Um, you know, they're not phenomenal, but they're, they're well, well, you know, uh, it's got, it needs to be washed, obviously. It's got a little ding there. Uh, nothing to worry about. Uh, I'm not going to be concerned. Uh, the windshield, Looks good, it isn't cracked. And then we come around to the back here, and this is where the damage is. Um, we got a bumper we gotta replace, we got a trunk we gotta replace, and I gotta pull this out a little bit. It's not bad, and it needs a headlight too, or a tail light. Um, other than that there, uh, it does not have an aftermarket exhaust on it. Um, other than that there, we go to this side, Tires again, you know, it's got the original rims, good tires. Um, looks good, it doesn't look like damaged. Uh, you know, the glass is all good, everything looks good. Uh, the windshield looks good. Um, car looks pretty good, and then we'll go to the inside here. I already put the, the side thing down for here. Uh, I gotta grab a set of keys for this. Or did I? No, I didn't unlock it yet. Um, it comes with two sets of keys. One is, I believe it's a remote car starter too, eh? Um, I may be wrong, but I don't know. If you know, uh, I'll check it out. But it's got like a little speed thing there. I don't know if that means remote start or not. But uh, we'll check that out after. Um, uh, I guess the thing was probably unlocked. I didn't have it locked. Um, you know, it needs a little bit of cleaning on the on the uh, upholstery or not the upholstery but the the doors and stuff but this car looks clean folks let me get up here and we'll show you it's getting dark so i want to show you this now um instead of when it's dark but you look it looks clean 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 car nice little stereo it's a six disc cd changer um the back seat of it looks incredible the car looks clean folks like uh someone definitely took care of it uh kept it clean uh it is run and drive so you know if you're wondering uh i will be starting it uh, what i gotta do is i gotta go and shovel the back where i'm gonna put this car i gotta get it boosted get it off this here and get it back there so um as you can see you know like the seats are incredible. The thing looks amazing, folks. Uh, and I was saying that uh, you can probably see better now here. I mean, windshield's dirty from my truck kicking up the mud. But uh, it's not cracked or anything. So, basically, what I got to do, in order to pass inspection... Don't step on this, but I did. <laughs> in order to pass inspection, it needs... It needs those things, right? It needs, because uh, it needs a salvage inspection. It's going to need trunk, bumper, tail light that's busted, and I'm going to have to pull this out. And I got a trick to pull that out uh, that should work perfectly fine. Because um, I don't believe, because it's not the frame, I don't believe I have to cut it out and put a new piece in. I should be able to just pull that out and away I go. Um, but. Other than that, like, you know, like the bumpers pushed out here too. So you can see that uh, it fell out of place and the light is all out of whack and, you know. So we'll get that straightened away. Uh, thing runs, I think I told you again, 182,000 kilometers. Um, anyways, I'm going to go in and have something to eat and then shovel that back and then we'll fire it up. All right, folks, uh, I'm a little shaky maybe. Um... This is what I got to shovel out, as you can see, I started here. 
found some garbage in under my snow on my side. Uh, I moved it out of the way. I'm out of breath because this is a bit of work I got ahead of me. I got to at least make it down to the uh, the tires of the the camper so this car will fit in here. Um, so I got a little bit to go. Let's get her done. All right, folks, I'm a little out of breath, but we got her. We got her good enough. Uh, I don't know if you can tell that way or not, but basically where the shovel is, I got it shoveled out. Um, it's supposed to be warm the next couple of days. So for now, I'll get it in here. Tomorrow, I'm going to go to the scrapyard, get the parts I need. Um, and uh, then we're going to start working on it. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to go in, get the wife's car. Uh, go boost this here Okay, folks, so we just got the car off the uh, off the U-Haul trailer um, She's running as you can see uh, I had to boost it obviously uh, the battery shot from you know, we're dealing with minus 40 below uh, That's something like probably uh, I don't know 80 Fahrenheit uh, minus 80 Fahrenheit or uh, something like that. I'm not sure exactly what it is in the States, but uh, Anyways, my son's here with me. We're gonna take this back there park it and uh, color night for tonight um, and we're gonna take the u-haul trailer back and then tomorrow i'm gonna head to the junkyard get the parts i need try to get this done as quick as possible and back on the road uh, i'd like to be taking it to get it salvage inspection done monday so today is thursday so that gives me the weekend to, to work on it uh, you know pick at it because i'm not gonna go full out right like you know i want to make sure i do it right and everything um, so let's get it back there, and then, then we'll go from there. All right, folks. So we got the we got the car in off the road. Um, it was hard time. Like I need to shovel this a lot better, shovel and all the rest. But right now, I just wanted to get it off the road, get it in. My son gave me a hand, which helped a lot. Uh, did you get your tablet, bud? Okay. Next there with the other set of keys. Um, Grab them there. Um, she fired right up though. Uh, today she fired right up. When I went out to uh, when I when I went out to uh, start it at the junkyard or at the junkyard at the Copper, uh, she was hard time starting because uh, it was really cold. Right, it was like minus I don't know 20, 26 or something. Um, but today it's like it's like plus seven. Uh, so a beautiful day. Like I'm sweating. It's that nice out. Uh, but we got the car here, it's pretty good, uh, like I said, it's got some, some hail damage, uh, not, nothing that you can't look by past uh, a car, like, in my, in my opinion, this car here, the reason why I bought it is one, is because I love Hondas, uh, they're easy to work on, they're reliable, and two, is this is the perfect vehicle for uh, someone that's, their kid is getting their license or something coming summer, right? You know, it's a perfect starter car. You know, it doesn't have the, too many kilometers, but it has enough that, you know, like they're not gonna they're not gonna destroy something that's brand new, right? You know, this year it's definitely reliable. Um, I just drove it up here, man. Steering is nice and tight. You know, they're always were in Hondas. Uh, but, anyways, that's it for this video. If you like it, give it that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button to see the rest of the build on this car.